After traveling an hour and a half, we got rained out right after the heat race. As we join Sullivan Racing, who are competing in a $2,000 car. So not many races happen that night, but sometimes it's what happens after the races that's the, that's the story. Join us and let's see what this adventure has in store. Let's see if Uncle Scotty can bridge the gap to first place. I'm Gilbert. And I'm Gogo. Let's jump right in to Uncle Scotty rebuilding his carburetor to get prepared for the heat race. All this and more on this week's episode of Project Sullivan. Stay tuned. I'm going to start pulling this thing apart. We always have extra brake cleaner and carburetor cleaner. Another partial can. Oh, by the way, brake cleaner works really good. The cheaper, the better, as long as it works good. Walmart has theirs for like three something. It's the cheapest I can find. And we use it so often. I'm just spraying the carburetor off, cleaning a lot of the dirt, all the excess bull crap off. That we don't get dirt and everything. So what we're gonna do today is is the last couple races I've been having problems with my carburetor a little bit. I think it's a float level. Um, I've pulled off the bowl in between the heat and the main events, cleaned it out. We tried to blow it out a little bit, make sure there's no trash in it. It seemed to work better for the main event a little bit this last time. But if I turned too hard and, and drove on the bottom and turned too sharp to cut off the, the corners, I seem to find that my carburetor would bog out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna pull it off, double clean it, go through, check all the bolts, all the nuts, I mean, all the screws, check everything. I'll check the float level again. Um, I'm, I think it's the float level, just giving me problems. And uh, double check, make sure all the... Actually, I'm going to change the power valve. I uh, The one in it, I think it might be a little too too big. It, it's okay for the street application, but not for racing. I'm going to try a smaller power valve. Um, like This is still our first year with a Holly. This is our sixth or seventh race, so I've never, I'm not used to it. I'm always used to running a Rochester two-barrel. But now we got, we even have an extra holly, complete, ready to go, that I keep in a bag in the enclosed trailer in case we need it. But I think I'm going to rebuild this one first and try it again before I pull out my backup. That's for if something happens in between races and I just need something real quick to stick on there and be good to go. If you hear a dog bark, that's my dog Hopi. Actually, my son's dog. It's a red healer. But I think she's in heat. She's a Sullivan. We're all in heat. Working with the carburetor stuff, I always try to keep rags underneath everything to keep everything fairly clean. Table here, my enclosed trailer is a little dirty, but I definitely cleaned off a spot and so I could rebuild this carburetor. Took it out the car yet? It's still sitting there. It ran perfect. great it handled sweet I couldn't ask for much of a better car we're gonna do a few more upgrades in the suspension in the next couple weeks now is not the time I don't have the time so there's still a little bit of gas in here there's not a lot but um, as you can see I, I don't see any real trash in here it's pretty clean but like I said I pulled it apart a couple weeks ago and checked it all I do have a couple new gaskets. Maybe I should put some new gaskets. In case there's some uh, fuels slipping by somewhere. 
This power valve here was a 6.5. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna put a 4.5 on there and see if it makes a difference. I kinda like doing work in my enclosed trailer some because I got my little toolbox here, pretty quick, easy accessible. That's crazy. This power valve had two gaskets on it. The difference in the power valves that I noticed from here, wherever that other one went, this one seems to close more than this one. The gap is further apart, and this one doesn't close seem as far. They look about the same, except for one, this screw turns in more, and this one is more flat. So maybe the, the more you turn it in, the more vacuum you have is what I'm guessing. I'm not sure. I'm going to spray this out a little bit. Let's put that 4.5 in there. We'll try it out. If I don't like it for the heat race, I'll change it back. It only takes about five minutes. That's good. You don't want to over tighten them. It's it's just an aluminum body. Right here, just be careful if you put on reusing your gaskets. These gaskets are only a month and a half old, maybe. But I have some more that I'll probably put on there. I'm not sure. These aren't leaking, so they're probably still good. Is what I'm guessing. I'm not a carburetor expert. If I turn this upside down, it looks like it's going a little low, but you can't determine by that. But it stops. And I could almost put my finger underneath it. Now that's where I had another problem with this other carburetor. I haven't really looked into it that far. But here, watch. I could pull it apart real quick. This is my backup. I was looking at it the other day. So if we check here. Actually, I can even just pull this gasket off. This one here, it's going all the way down to the bottom. And really, it doesn't look like it's actually on right, but I don't understand why it's not bottoming out like that, unless it's the needle and seat maybe. It's the wrong one is what I'm gonna maybe guess. I'm gonna guess that's probably pretty close. That definitely looks better. for that of the carburetor so if we need it this next weekend or in the in the future we can at least adjust it from there and go from there so let's put this back on there before we lose any parts Now if I gotta run this one, I'll feel a little better that we could adjust it right there on the track. And I have no problems. There we go. It's ready to go. We'll see what happens. Um, we did put the new power valve, cleaned it out, left the same jets. See what happens. May 20th here at Vado Speedway. Um, Uncle Scotty's moved down to third points in points. Uncle Scotty's moved to third place in points, so we're going to have to see if we can do better with that. Flat screwdriver, a rag, and zip ties. Two zip ties. Do you think it's going to rain, Scott? Should mom come or no? It looks like the rain's over there. And the Scott says down. we're going to the rain. The rain's going to miss us. He thinks. They've been watching the storm, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm already here, there's no turning back now. I don't know, it rained that last time. I remember the sky looked awesome in the background of the video of that one. Well, I'm gonna stay in my head like the movie Holes so we can get through the night. Right. I know a place where it never rains. <laughs> That's right here, the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's right here in New Mexico. The end. The end. <laughs> I need you to come cut it. Oh. Act like it's the cheese. Kind of see the line that goes there? I don't know if you can see it there or there. Try the best you can to follow that. That's basically Cookie Monster you're obliterating. Oh. 
<laughs> now you don't want to see none of that inside. Yeah. I need mud off on the bottom of my shoes. I need some of that on my boxers. <laughs> Operation. <laughs> no, I have tinnitus, so I have constant ringing in my ears, so I can never hear. Sh I have that too. It all started the day we met. <laughs> <laughs> and the day we got married, it got worse. Right? <laughs> what? Nothing. What just... got worse? Nothing. My hearing. Lies. <laughs> no, he was talking about his hearing. I was talking about how I have a constant ringing in my ear. He just wants to hear, he hears only what he wants to hear. Well, I have that too. Off the coolant or water. It was we already put a bottle of water in there. We're gonna put some more. It's always good to know to avoid dehydration. You want to make sure and drink plenty of water. We hate for your car to get dehydrated. What else you gotta do? All right. Um, me and my son run a YouTube, and usually we do my brother who drives the 20s car. Yeah. For the pure socks, yeah. and um, but in between that, we'll interview some other drivers in the pits. Cool. And uh, since we don't see you guys around much, we, actually, my brother said you should hit up that 14 car. It's not here much, and I said okay. All right. Yeah. We were here for our first race of the season, winter meltdown, and we struggled bad. Within the three days, which was a practice and two races, we spun out six times. I think. Really? Yeah. Just awful. Couldn't handle. I didn't know how to drive the car. I was doing bad and then went out to grants which is about an hour and a half away from where we live and there wasn't very many cars there but we were able to walk away near if we had maybe four more laps we would have lapped second place like really got a good feel for it and then started racing uh sandia speedway or suka circuit i think is what they're calling it now or whatever it is and we've been racing really hard with cameron martin and hunter sandy us three have finished within the top three nearly every race except one aim on night there was this dude named Tracy Harris that was able to lead into it. But so far this season, we have two wins, one at Sandia, which was last weekend actually, and the other one, which was at Grant's. And then we got rained out, so we thought, might as well come down here and see how we compare now after a little bit of time. What class do you run? b months, USRA b months. b months. okay. Th this is my first year in the car, too. And this, have you, how long have you been racing total? I uh, started racing go-karts when I was seven years old, racing for like a season and a half maybe ten, five times race it total or something like that and whenever i was 13 got in a toyota celica little four cylinder and then over covid me and my dad downgraded his street stock to become my car and race cruisers won five times in that last season now that's my little brother's car that so we've been racing for a good bit always been around it always loved it and made this huge jump this season did not think we were going to pull it off but managed to get a little bit of sponsorship help do you have a favorite quote from a car movie of any kind? Flight Demon Queen, turn right to go left, always made me laugh as a kid, never understood it. Good. And then now I understand it more than ever. What place do you think you're going to get tonight in the main? Uh, I think the last time I checked there was 20 cars, I know probably five more. Within 25, I think we got 15, somewhere within that area. You're going to try for 15? That's the goal. How do you think you're going to do in the heat race? Uh, we start uh, second heat, third row inside, so that makes us starting fifth. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna be on the inside. Um, we're gonna to try to go around everybody. I would like to finish out the heat race strong with the first and second place. Hopefully we can get some uh, maybe passing points if that's, what, if that's the way they do things. I still haven't quite figured out the passing uh, or the, the point system. She's running good. Haley's running damn good. Just keep it together all in one piece. We got a two-day show next weekend, Friday night, Saturday night here at Bottle Speedway. The Airbnb's already booked, so we're gonna have to do good this weekend and keep it, uh, keep her all together, and we'll see what happens. Um, 
Looks like the rain is starting to come in a little bit. Hopefully we don't get rained out. If we do... Hey, it, Casper, if you're going to open it, close it. If we do get rained out, it is what it is. Maybe my car won't get destroyed. It'll be ready for next week. So that's the plus side about it is it's kind of saving us for next week. But let's see what happens. Carburetor's still sporadic. I'm gonna put my other one on and try it. Cause it's it's not right. What place did you get? We started fifth, we finished second. Had a little hiccup, but it actually helped us because we were able to drive under everybody else. It worked out pretty good actually. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that carburetor. Now the real reason we bring the side by side, one of
Ziploc bag to keep it fresh. I just kind of adjusted the float earlier too. Yeah, the other day it was way off the float. Were you out of gas? No. No, on that carburetor. No, I meant on the generator. That shouldn't hurt anything, huh? It's all broken. No, 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 put it on there or you'll be okay. Just, then we'll push them up whenever it comes sure? on. Yeah. All right, nothing's in there. No dirt, no fucking... It, it's never had gas in it. Nothing, you know, always, I always find some shit in my carburetors. I love that. Well, that's why we put... Man. That's why they put it in the keep it fresh bag. <laughs> this is why we bring the in. We got rained out. We got to run run the heat, and that was it. Um, tune in next week to Project Sullivan, and maybe we can make make a complete race night, which actually should be a two day show. So, driving on the freeway, uh, our side by side got a little loose. We actually discovered it sooner and we babied it back in. We hit a bump coming in off the on-ramp and it kind of just flung forward. I did have to cut the winch off already and throw it in the back here. Now let's see if we can get it off. Not know. I freed up one of the straps. The other one's still trapped under the frame. Learn them there. They can learn whatever. Got it connected there. Over there. Okay. Let's go put this in neutral. Neutral. Now I'm just going to ratchet this. You know, 
know this is the first real good rain of the year here in uh, this part of New Mexico. It's roughly midnight-ish. And I'm glad we at least were able to sneak it close enough to an awning. We're coming off the off-ramp here. Big bang. Woke me up. And then I was like, damn. He goes, yeah, I hit a pothole or something. I was like, damn. And then, then I heard it dragging. So what's your plan? I think I got your plan now. I hope not. Yeah. I was asleep. I, it woke me up. It was enough for me to wake up. There it goes. There's a bump. Yeah. I he said, hold on. Down. There's a bump there. When I hit that bump, there's a thing. He wants to put them both in the front. That's one. I just put two ratchets on it. I know.
gonna go with you from this point. That makes sense. Well, how's Grandpa getting late then? It's like I always say, if two, it's like I always say, if two wouldn't hold it, 15 will. I'll get it. Dang, we were lucky that nothing happened to that side by side. And so far, no damage has been found on that Polaris. If you've been watching this long, you might as well subscribe. Did Sullivan Racing make enough points to catch up to first place? And remember to join us next week for another episode of Project Sullivan. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. After traveling an hour and a half, we, dang it. Ready? Jump right in with Uncle Sky, rebuild any carburetor, all this and more. I'm just researching no, no, no. Project Sullivan. What? You didn't say I'm Google. Oh. And remember to join us next week on this week's up. That time I did. Tune in next week. Project Sullivan. Oh, wait, how's it go? If you've been watching this long, you might as well subscribe. What's that other thing we say? At Project Sullivan, we make the mistakes so you don't have to. Or what about, don't wait for opportunity, create it.